Hi guys and welcome back to the 401 Files. I was hoping to start this video with something really cool like day 365 of quarantine but I've actually forgot what day it is now um, that we've been locked down so I'm not going to start like that. I just want to share something that happened with me last night um, and I I'm sure that a lot of you guys out there experienced the same as well. Super exciting and I'm really looking forward to diving into this one and sharing a few of my thoughts and what I experienced last night. Stay tuned. <laughs> So last night guys, I was sat here at this very spot on the seat watching Netflix. I think I was watching something like Big Bang and I started to get tired. I realised I need to go to bed, I'm going to call it a night and the dog needs to go out. So I went to the back door to let the dog out for a wee and as I'm stood there, I look up and I see a long train of evenly spaced lights, satellites. And now I knew instantly what this was. I knew this was Starlink from SpaceX because I'd only spoke to you guys on a previous video um, about Starlink and how people get confused with Starlink being UFOs. So I knew what this was, but people, as you can imagine, started to go crazy and my phone started to blow up straight away. I had messages coming in from Instagram, from Twitter, Facebook, all these different places that I am on social media. I started to get messages. I think I had over like 30 messages from different people asking me what this was, did I see it? Um, what's my take on this? Now I'm not going to sit here and think, say that I think different to everybody else but I definitely do start to think outside the box with many different things that I talk about. So people were interested what I thought. So I'll just share this with you guys about how this unfolded for me. Like I said I was stood at the back door waiting for the dog to come in and I'm looking up and I see a long train of evenly spaced lights just floating overhead through the night sky. It took me a minute or two because at first I just saw one or two and I thought what the hell what is this? But then I saw a third and a fourth, and I think I counted up to like 18 different satellites glowing, floating through the night sky in an evenly spaced line. So instantly now I'm thinking, this is, oh my god, this is like super exciting, this is um, Starlink from SpaceX, I cannot believe that I've seen this on the off chance. It wasn't even like I planned to come stand here at this time of night specifically to see it. It was the off chance that the dog needed to go out for the toilet and I saw this. So what an amazing thing at first. That was the impression I got, that was the feelings I was having, and I was super excited. So I'm watching Starlink just glide across thinking, wow, we live in really sci-fi type times. This is a crazy thing to be witnessing right now because that wasn't flying around in the sky when my parents were, were children. And so to look up there now and see this, it's like something out of a movie, it really is. And then the second thought that came to me was, I wonder what other people are thinking. Like when I'm stood here now at the back door and I'm watching these lights, that's amazing to me and I'm from here. So what is that like as somebody who is not from Earth, somebody who doesn't know what's going on on Earth or why that's floating around in the atmosphere? What is that like for them? What do they think? And I started to think, if you are an extraterrestrial, if you are an intelligent being somewhere off in the solar system, and you've been monitoring Earth, you've been watching the progression of humanity, then all of a sudden you see a long train of satellites circulating the planet at regular intervals. What would that lead you to think? And I started to think, well, the first thing, you'd be thinking, what the hell are they doing? What is going on down there? So there'd be intrigue. You'd be interested to know why they are launching these lights evenly spaced apart that are now orbiting the planet. Is it a, is it a weapon system? Is it surveillance? What is this? And so you, there would definitely be some intrigue there. I imagine that people from another planet, intelligent beings, would want to come and investigate further as to what this thing is. And so I started thinking, this is a very weird time. This is like living with a double-edged sword because although Starling has definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, increased the UFO reports coming in, people might though actually be having legitimate UFO sightings. And so these reports are coming in that people are seeing a long train of lights going across the sky. But then they might also see what I've just explained to you guys. Curious UFOs that are legit. Intrigued UFOs that are legit. But because they say, I saw a long train of lights going across the sky, 
as soon as that leaves their mouth, this now loses credibility because people just say, well, no, actually what you saw was Starlink. I can't lie, I stood there last night and I knew instantly that that was Starlink. I knew it was Starlink. I'm in, I'm clued up on all the things that are going on regarding SpaceX. I'm a big fan of SpaceX, NASA and space exploration. So I know quite a lot of the projects that are taking place and what looks normal, what doesn't look normal, what aircraft we are flying around in and what aircraft we are flying around in. I'm quite clued up on that stuff. And yet I saw something last night that I thought was moving in and out of the chain. So as this chain of satellites was going overhead, yes, I knew it was Starlink. But then I started to think, what the hell is that though? Like, what keeps coming in and out? Like, there was, looked like a light that was moved closer and further away. Now, I don't know whether that was just because of my perception. When you're down on the ground and you're looking up into the sky, if there's anything moving evenly spaced apart in one big chain across the sky, everything else can look like it's moving as well in retrospect to Starlink. So I don't know if it was that. I don't think it was because this thing was moving quite sporadically in and out. But I only saw it for a brief time because then it went over the horizon, so I didn't get a chance to make a, um, an accurate assumption of what I was looking at, whether it was just my perspective or whether that was something. But this is not the point. The point is, people will be seeing strange lights now in and around Starlink and reporting them, but because they've mentioned Starlink, it's now discredited. And so this is a very awkward time for UFOlogists. This is a very awkward time for anybody trying to report UFO because it just muddies the waters that bit more. To any of you guys that saw it, my question is this to you. What do you think other species out there in the universe will be thinking when they see this? Comment below guys, let me know what you think because I just can't imagine seeing that on another planet. Can you imagine if we woke up tomorrow and we looked at Mars and there was a long train of light just circulating the atmosphere on Mars or the little atmosphere that it has? Yeah, comment below guys, let me know what you think other species looking at Earth now when that thing grows even longer, I think it. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Like I said, hit the thumbs up, as we always say. Take it easy, look after yourselves. And if you are in a position to do so, then please do look after somebody else as well. Until next time, guys, stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.